So we need to learn to bless ourselves. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. One of the most powerful forces in the world is a blessing. A blessing is an invitation to all the forces on earth to assist a man until such a man succeed. So we need to learn to bless ourselves, to bless our children, to bless the people around us. So we should learn to say blessings. There are different types of blessings. Uh, for example, financial, long life, landed property, divine guidance, wisdom, gifted people. You no know, God can release some people to provide information and knowledge that money cannot buy. You know, in Psalm 103, verses 2 to 5, the psalmist, David said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefit. He's talking about the blessing. So we can equate blessings to benefit from God. He said, Who forgives all your iniquities? Forgiveness. Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from destruction? Redemption. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfy your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. No blessings can also be in degrees. You, know, you can have full blessings or you can have remnant blessings. And we saw this in the life of Isaac and his two children. Isaac blessed Jacob in Genesis 27, 28 to 29. You remember the narrative? When Isaac was old, his eyes were dim, and he asked Esau to go and prepare him a venison so that he could bless him. But Jacob supplanted Esau again. Then Jacob came before Isaac, and Isaac blessed him after eating the venison. And this is what he said, Therefore may God give you of the dew of heaven, of the fatness of the earth, and plenty of grain and wine. Let people serve you and nations bow down to you. Be master over your brethren, and let your mother's son bow down to you. Cause be everyone who causes you, and blessed be those who bless you. Do you know God greatly blessed Jacob? He prospered, he even became a nation, Israel. <laughs> we have Israel today. Okay. We saw remnant blessing in Genesis 27 again, 38 to 40. And Esau came later to his father, and he asked for just one blessing, my father. Bless me, me also, oh my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Then Isaac, his father, answered and said to him, Behold, your dwelling shall be of the fatness of the earth, and of the dew of heaven from above. By your sword you shall live, and you shall serve your brother. And it shall come to pass, when you become restless, that you will break his yoke from off your neck. What a blessing. Even the remnant blessing set Esau off. In Genesis 32, 1 to 6, Jacob sent some of his servants to Esau. They returned and reported the blessings of Esau. He got a remnant blessing and became so great that he had 400 bodyguards. You need to learn to say a blessing because you never know what God can do in your life. Thank you.